Hello again everybody, this is Rob for GearWire, and we are taking a look at the Digital Audio Workstation program Reaper under Windows. Uh, this uh, tutorial video screencast is going to show a uh, interesting feature that Reaper has. Um, Reaper is very compact. When it installs on your uh, machine's uh, hard drive, the entirety of the install does not take up very much space and in fact is not spread out around uh, the entire uh, machine. It doesn't make any changes to your registry entries and uh, all the files that are necessary to actually get Reaper to run are located in a single directory. That means that it is now easy to take an entire running environment, a Reaper running environment, and put it on a, say for example, USB jump drive and take it with you to be able to run right off of that jump drive onto uh, any hardware that you happen to encounter in your travels. And there is a utility included in Reaper to actually do this, so we are going to use that utility right about now. Let's uh, stop Reaper and get to the utility. Let me what I have to say. Now, the utility that we're going to use, actually, I'll just show you real quick. Right now, I have a removable disk already connected to this machine, and that is just a 2 gig jump drive that I've got on the uh, connected into one of the USB ports here. But in order to actually get the Reaper environment onto that drive, what I do is I go to the Start menu and select All Programs, and then go to the Reaper option. And then under Reaper, uh, we see a whole bunch of options here, but uh, we can see that uh, there is an option to install Reaper to a USB key or removable media. So we just select that, and up comes a DOS batch file that asks for a drive letter to actually put the uh, installation upon. So we see that the drive, the target drive should be E, so we enter E and hit enter. Whoops, we're going to hit E colon. And off it goes. There is a way to actually reduce the time it takes to um, complete this operation. You'll notice that the color themes uh, are being copied over right now. And if you remove the color themes from the uh, C program files Reaper subdirectory, then all of this copying will just be skipped right over. But we can let it go. It's interesting that the majority of uh, the copying that's going on seems to be related to the color themes that uh, the program supports. Of course, you could skin Reaper in uh, any one of many, many dozens of possible ways, and of course, people are making new skins all the time. And these are the files that make up the skins. Now we're beginning to see some data having to do with uh, some effects and filters. MIDI control, uh, rather MIDI parameters. There are the DLLs that, can, that comprise the plugins. And now here it's finished. Reaper is now installed on your USB drive in the Reaper folder. Just launch Reaper EXE from your USB drive to use it. Have fun. Let's test it out and see if that actually works. Reaper, here it is. Reaper EXE. And up it comes, absolutely having no problems and appearing for all the world to be running right off of a hard drive. Well, that's Reaper for you. Uh, keep it on GearWire.com in the future for more tutorial screencasts on this and other digital audio workstation programs. Thanks for keeping it on GearWire.